हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू कैरियर पावर हैदराबाद पावर्ड बाय अड्डा 24/7 सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स बट बिफोर गोइंग इनटू द वीडियो लेट अस हैव अ स्मॉल डिस्कशन अबाउट दिस फाइव स्टेज मेथड ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स डिस्कशन सो यूजिंग दिस फाइव स्टेज मेथड यू कैन लर्न करंट अफेयर्स 10 टाइम्स इफेक्टिवली सो वी कैन प्रॉमिस यू दिस ओनली व्हेन यू फॉलो दिस फाइव स्टेज मेथड सो फर्स्ट स्टेज इज हेडलाइंस विद ब्लैंक्स टू मेक द करंट अफेयर इंटरेस्टिंग वी डेवलप्ड दिस हेडलाइंस विद ब्लैंक सो दैट इट विल राइज अ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड so to know the answer for this blank you need to watch the stage 2 detailed analysis where we provide strategic points as well as detailed examination of the current affair so finally in third stage we have one word key points so to revise to remember for a longer time period this one word key points will definitely help you so fourth stage is important mcqs so using this mcqs you can solve the current affairs in the day itself so every day at 7 pm in our telegram channel we have the important mcqs so do join the telegram channel and answer the important mcqs and fifth stage is section wise revision so every monday we have section wise revision so this will help you to remember current affair for a longer time period now please uh, subscribe our channel like and share our videos join the telegram channel download the career power hyderabad app we'll provide the links in the description as well as comment section now we'll see the today's important headlines so if you see the important headlines today So, Women and Child Development Minister, so Smriti Jubin Irani, she inaugurated a new tree garden at which city, at which institute? Okay. So, the Information and Broadcasting Ministry they formed a, com a committee to review the journalist welfare scheme under the chairmanship of whom? So, which bank, international bank, has approved United Arab Emirates, Bangladesh, Uruguay as the new members of the bank? So, who takes charge as the new Director General of BSF Border Security Force? and center center appoints whom as the chairman and managing director of rinl steel plant so rashtri inspat nigam limited wizak steel plant so now coming to one more appointment so who is the new rajya sabha secretary general so the highest post in rajya sabha so in the bureaucracy so who will host which state will host the defense expo 2022 so jammu and kashmir lieutenant governor manoj sinha he inaugurated a new initiative for women empowerment of women what is the initiative So RBI set up the Vasudevan Committee on providing licenses. So for which license it is? So who wins the Bird Photographer of the Year Award 2021? So RBI imposed a penalty, a fine on Axis Bank. So how much fine it is? So Tokyo Olympics, Paralympics is happening. So who is the first Indian woman to win two medals? So one more medal for India. So who wins silver in men's high jump? Okay, so senior journalist and former Rajya Sabha MP, he passed away recently. Who is the personality? So, which Union Territory or state has announced to snow leopard as their state animal, black necked crane as their state bird? So, PM Modi has unveiled a special coin. So, what is the amount of the coin on the eve of the ISKCON's founder's 125th birthday? Okay, so Prabhu Pada's Sri Prabhu Pada's birthday it is. So this year is 125th birthday. So on his on this eve. So a special coin was uh, uh, unveiled by PM Modi. So what is the coin? So now we will see detailed analysis. So first is about uh, the Women and Child Development Minister. She inaugurated new tree garden. So Smriti Jubin Irani, the current Women and Child Development Minister, she inaugurated the new tree garden on the beginning of Poshan Ma 2021 at the All India Institute of Ayurveda, New Delhi. So All India Institute of Ayurveda, New Delhi. under the direction of ministry of aish so they initiated the celebration of poshan ma 2021 so this nutri garden nutri kitchen garden is a method of planting and harvesting nutrition rich uh, crops in residential houses or in the vicinity uh, to meet the requirements of family okay so in urban areas they will be promoted in the form of rooftop gardening terrace gardening vertical gardening container gardening and in rural areas they will be promoted in the backyards of houses So this nutri garden will increase the availability of food and nutrient sources. It will be a source of supplementary income, and these crops uh, harvested are very fresh and safe. They are chemical free. Okay. So this uh, nutri garden initiative was launched in the All India Institute of Ayurveda by Smriti Jubin Irani, the Union Women and Child Development Minister. So All India Institute of Ayurveda headquarters, New Delhi, established in 2015. So these are the points to remember. now coming into one more national news where information and broadcasting ministry they formed a committee to review the journalist welfare scheme so a 12 member committee was appointed okay by the ministry of information and broadcasting to make appropriate recommendations for the changes to the guidelines of the journalist welfare scheme 
So this committee will be headed by Ashok Kumar Tandon. So who is a Prasar Bharati board member. So he is the committee chairman who will give recommendations within two months. So the current minister of uh, information and broadcasting is Anurag Singh Thakur. Okay. New minister remember. Now coming into one more national news where international news where new development bank which is also called BRICS bank. So they approved United Arab Emirates, Bangladesh, Uruguay as their new member countries. So it is based in Shanghai, headquartered in Shanghai. In 2020, the new development bank board of governors, they initiated this negotiation to expand its membership. So as a part of this negotiation, the first new member countries of the new development bank will be United Arab Emirates, Bangladesh and Uruguay. Okay, so one from Gulf region, one from Asia region and one from uh, the South American region. So these three will be the new members of the new development bank. Okay. So this new development bank was established by BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. So the purpose of the bank is to mobilize resources for infrastructure and sustainable development projects in BRICS countries, emerging market economies and developing countries. Okay. So this is the main purpose to mobilize resources. So new development bank headquarters Shanghai, China. A new development bank established in 2014 and the bank president is Marcos Prado Troyho. So he is the new, he is the president, current president, he belongs to Brazil, Marcos Prado Troyho. Okay. So next appointment news is about the director general of BSF. So Pankaj Kumar Singh, 1988 batch IPS officer from Rajasthan cadre was appointed as the new director general of BSF, Border Security Force. So earlier BSF was under the control additional charge of the ITBP Director General SS Deshwal. So since July, he has been the additional charge. So now Pankaj Kumar Singh will be the Director General of BSF. And also Sanjay Arora, 1988 batch IPS from Tamil Nadu, will be the new Director General of ITBP, indo dpt and Border Police. Okay. So SS Deshwal also is going to retire. So for ITBP, it is uh, Sanjay Arora and for BSF it is Pankaj Kumar Singh, new director generals, new heads, okay, new police boss. So BSF established 1965, headquarters New Delhi, ITBP established 1962, headquarters New Delhi. So remember these points very, very important. Now coming into important appointment <coughs> about the RINL VSP steel plant. So Rasti and Spark Nigam Limited, Vizak steel plant. So center appointed Atul Bhatt as the new chairman and managing director of the RINL Vizak Steel Plan. Earlier he was the CMD of Mekon which is also the state controlled consultancy firm. So PK Rath who is the earlier CMD of RINL he retired on May 31st after completing 38 years of working in the company. So RINL company is placed in Vishakhapatnam. It's a steel manufacturing company which is placed in based in Vishakhapatnam. So the company without any cap to iron ore mines, they operate nearly 7.3 million tons steel plant in the state of Andhra Pradesh. So it is going into disinvestment. So entire 100% company will be disinvested by the union government very soon. So RINL established in 1982 and headquarters is in Vishakhapatnam. So soon it is going to be disinvested by the central government. So 100% disinvestment by the central government. So it is a news. So please remember the new CMD is Atul Bhatt. So now uh, one more appointment, very, very important appointment related to uh, SSC bank examinations. So PPK Ramacharilu has been appointed as the Rajya Sabha Secretary General. So he was appointed by the Rajya Sabha Chairman, the Vice President of India, M. Venkai Naidu. So he was working in the Rajya, Rajya Sabha Secretariat uh, uh, as a secretary since 2018. Now he is upgraded to the Secretary General. So he will succeed Desh Deepak Verma. So he recently completed his four years tenure. So Ramacharyul is the first insider to raise from ranks of the Secretariat to this top post in the 70 years of Rajya Sabha history. So for the first time, so insider person is holding the top post of Rajya Sabha, the Secretary General. Okay. So Parasaram Pattabi Keshava Ramacharyulu, he joined Rajya Sabha in 1983. He has 40 years of experience in the functioning of parliament, handling of all the various aspects in the functioning of parliament. So he is very instrumental in establishing a practice for the office of chairman by sending the communication to MPs in their own respective mother languages, mother tongues. So office of chairman, he need to communicate with all the MPs. So he will send the communication of the chairman in the form of their mother language to all the respective MPs. So this was the initiative done by him. Okay. 
So next, defense news. Gujarat to host the Defense Expo 2022. So next year, Defense Expo will be hosted in Gujarat. So this was announced by Chief Minister Vijay Rupani. So a memorandum of understanding was uh, signed between the Department of Defense Production and Gujarat government in this regard. So 100 countries are expected to participate in this biannual event. So it will be held in Gandhinagar from 10th to 13th March 2022. So the aim of this Defense Expo is to move from make in India to make for the world. So to expand our business and to make India a defense manufacturing hub. So Gujarat CM Vijay Rupani, Gujarat Governor Acharya Devrat. So points to remember. So next is a scheme uh, where German Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha has inaugurated this scheme called SAT for, in, for Women Empowerment. So it is a rural enterprise acceleration program titled SAD, SAT mainly for the self-help group women. So this program aims to transform the lives of women, make them independent, strong in social and financial aspects by mentoring the women associated with uh, self-help groups and creating market linkages for their products. Okay. So SAT is aimed at accelerating the livelihood of rural women. So these rural women are working very hard but they are not getting profit uh, from their work. So they have lack of knowledge. They don't have knowledge in marketing, packing and branding. So that is why the SAT initiative will teach women uh, these packing, branding, marketing skills and convert their business into high order enterprises. Okay. So this is about the SAT initiative. Okay. So German Kashmir currently has 48,000 self-help groups of 4 lakh women. So they are aiming to increase uh, 11,000 more self-help groups in the coming year to transform their lives, to make them independent, strong in financial and social aspects. So this is the aim of Jammu and Kashmir government. Okay. So now coming into committees, RBI has set up a committee on NUE, New Umbrella Entity Licenses. So RBI has set up a committee to scrutinize the applications and give recommendations on the New Umbrella Entity Licenses. So it's a five member committee headed by Vasudevan. So the committee will be responsible for looking into various aspects of the new umbrella entities. So the committee recommendations will be taken into consideration when doling out the licenses that is while giving issuing the licenses. Okay. So this NU is what are these new umbrella entities. So they are eligible to establish their own payment infrastructure to compete with the NPCI's UPI. Okay. So government hopes to build a settlement system. Similar to UPI, Unified Payment Interface, which is developed by NPCI. So like how NPCI developed UPI, so these new umbrella entities are encouraged to develop their own payment system. Okay. So this system main focus will be small and medium enterprises, merchants and consumers. Okay. So Reserve Bank of India in August 2020, they issued guidelines inviting companies to create new umbrella entities to end the monopoly of NPCI. Okay. So this as they uh, to encourage or to further strengthen this, they appointed this Vasudevan committee. So RBI governor Shakti Gandhas headquarters Mumbai established in 1935 static points to remember. Now coming into awards. So this award is uh, the bird photographer of the year award 2021. So El uh, Alejandro Priato. So Alejandro Priato. So Mexican photographer. So he won the bird photographer of the year award 2021. So he won for capturing the photograph of the roadrunner. So greater roadrunner, the bird you can see in the picture here. So which is staring at the wired boundary wall between USA and Mexico. So uh, for this uh, award, so this picture has a lot of meaning. So that is why the jury has awarded him the bird photographer of the year award. So this award was titled blocked. Okay, so Alejandro Priato, so he was awarded the bird photographer of the year award 2021 for this picture. So this picture has a lot of meaning. So it is, tells the story of habitat fragmentation and how structures set, such as border walls can prevent wildlife from migrating and moving from one place to another. So the wall dominates the image where roadrunner is a seemingly powerless and small in the frame. So this picture has a lot of meaning that is why it was awarded. So this award comes with a cash prize of uh, 5,000 uh, uh, pounds okay? and nearly 22,000 entries uh, uh, from 73 countries participated of which uh, Alejandro uh, Priato won the award. Okay? So next award is about uh, the Global ATD Best Award. So Power Grid, Power Grid Corporation of India Limited, the Maharatna Central Public 
sector unit under the Ministry of Power has uh, was awarded the Association for Talent Development 2021 Best Award. So Power Grid was ranked 8th among the 71 organizations across the globe and becoming the only PSU to win this award and also one among the only two companies in the top 20 list. So what is that company, other company in the list? So it's a private company, Lawrence and uh, Lar Larsen and Turbo, LNT, LNT, uh, LNT uh, Technology Services. So LNT Technology Services. So it, it, it also bagged this Association for Talent Development 2021 Best Award. So securing first rank among the 71 organizations. So LNT Technology, first rank, Power Grid, eighth rank. So remember, Power Grid, eighth, LNT, first. So global ATD Best Awards, they are presented by the Association for Talent Development mainly to recognize the organizations that demonstrate enterprise-wide success through their talent development programs. So this award was established in 2003. Okay. So as per ATD, the award winners are chosen for showing their best in building talent enterprise-wide, strategically driving a talent development culture that delivers results. Okay. So this Association for Talent Development, formerly called the American Society for Training and Development, so it is established in 1943 and headquarters is in Alexandria, Virginia state. Okay. So do remember. Now we'll go into banking news. RBI has imposed a 25 lakh fine on Axis Bank for flouting the KVC norms, for violating the KYC norms. So a 25 lakh fine was imposed on Axis Bank for violating the KYC norms. So RBI conducted a scrutiny and observed the bank failed to compile with the KYC norms. So uh, the KYC norms were issued in 2016. So the RBI, they issued a notice that our Axis Bank did not compel with these norms of the 2016. Okay. So Axis Bank headquarters Mumbai established in 1993. Okay. So please remember. Now sports news, we'll see sports news. So Awani Lekra, so she is the first Indian woman to win two medals. She won bronze medal recently in women 50 meter rifle competition scoring 445.9. The first two women also to win two medals at Paralympics. Earlier, Avani Lekra won gold in 10 meter air rifle event. So 10 meter, 50 meter. So she won two medals, 10 meter gold, 50 meter bronze. Okay. So gold went to China's Zhang Yuping and uh, silver went to Germany's Natasha Hiltrop. So gold and silver went to China and Germany and bronze to India. Okay. So please remember Avani Lekra. 50 meter rifle bronze medal and she is the first Indian woman to win two medals at Paralympics. Okay. Now coming into sports, one more sports news again Tokyo Paralympics. So Pravin Kumar wins silver in the men's high jump T64 category. So world number three Pravin Kumar, he bagged silver in men's high jump T64 category with a jump of 2.07 meters. So this 18 year old set a new Asian record. So this is the new Asian record. So gold went to Broom Edwards. So he, uh, uh, he with a jump of 2.10 meters. So he won, he claimed the gold. So gold to Broom Edwards, silver to Praveen Kumar. Okay. So T64 classification is mainly for athletes with leg amputation who can compete with prosthetics in a standing position. So T44, it is a, uh, a disabled classification where Kumar was el eligible. Okay, he belongs to T44, but he need to compete in T64. So what is T44? T44 is athletes with leg deficiency, leg length difference, impaired muscle power or impaired passive range of movement in the legs. He belongs to T44, but he competed in T64 and won the silver medal. Okay. So next is obituaries. So senior journalist and former Rajya Sabha MP Chandan Mitra, he passed away recently. He is the editor and managing director of the Pioneer newspaper, which is based in Delhi. So he was nominated as member of Rajya Sabha from 20, uh, 2003 to 2009 and in 2010 BJP sent him from Raj, uh, Madhya Pradesh as the Rajya Sabha MP. So in 2018 he left uh, BJP and joined Trinamool Congress. So please remember Chandan Mitra the uh, managing director editor of Pioneer newspaper he passed away recently. So now we will see important miscellaneous news. So Ladakh has announced a snow leopard as the state animal black necked crane as the state bird so the newly formed union territory of ladakh so they declared snow leopard as a state animal black necked crane as state bird okay 
So the notification was given by uh, Radha Krishna Mathur, the Lieutenant Governor of Union Territory of Ladakh. Okay. So in the eastern wild state of Jammu and Kashmir, black-necked crane was the state bird and Kashmir stag, Hangul, was the state animal. Okay. So after bifurcation, so new symbols were needed for Ladakh. So that is why a crane and uh, the leopard were taken as the symbols. So crane is chosen as a state bird because it is widely found in the eastern region of Ladakh. And snow leopards are widely found in western and eastern regions of Himalayas, including Ladakh, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. Okay. So please remember snow leopard and black necked crane. So now coming into uh, the special 125 rupees coin. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi has unveiled the special 125 rupees coin on the ISKCON founder's 125th birth anniversary. Okay. So the founder of ISKCON is Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. So he is a birth anniversary. Uh, we are celebrating 125 years this year. So that is why on this occasion, on this eve, the 125 rupees special coin was inaugurated, was unveiled by PM Modi. So in July 1966, so Swami Prabhupada, he founded ISKCON, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. ISKCON commonly called the Hare Krishna movement in New York. Okay. So his original name is Abhay Charan. So Abhay Charan popularly called Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. So who is considered the representative and messenger of Sir Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he is a famous saint in Indian history. So Iskhan translated Bhagavad Gita and other Vedic literature into 89 languages, spreading the Vedic culture, Vedic literature across the world. So uh, Swami Prabhupada, he established above 100 temples and wrote several books teaching the path of Bhakti Yoga to the entire world. So his mission is to propagate uh, Godia Vaishnavism, the school of Vaishnavite Hinduism throughout the world where he learnt, where he was taught by his Guru Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. So his aim is to spread the Vaishnavism, uh, Vaishnavist Hinduism across the world. Okay. So after his death in 19, 1977, Iskon Society, so which was formed on the basis of Hindu Krishnaism using Bhagavad Gita Purana as the central scripture continued to grow. So today Iskon has over 150 temples, 12 state recognized educational institutions, 25 affiliated and non-affiliated restaurants and number of tourist and pilgrimage hotels in India alone. And if you see the world, in Asia they have 80 Iskon centers. In Africa, 69 centers. In Europe, 135 centers. In Russia, 31 centers. In uh, North America, 56. South America, 60. Canada, 12. Mexico, 5. So you can see the spread of ISKCON in entire world. So ISKCON was established in 1966 by Swami Prabhupada in New York. And the headquarters of ISKCON currently is in Mayapur, West Bengal. Okay. So let us discuss about the commemorative coins released under Modi government. So 125 rupees 125 on the eve of 125th birthday of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and also Swami Prabhupada. 75 rupees coin on the eve of 75th anniversary of Food and Agricultural Organization. 350 rupees coin on the eve of birth anniversary of Guru Gobind Singh. And 100 rupees coin on the eve of the birth anniversary of Atal Bihari Vajpai. Okay. So please remember these coins very very important. So 125, 75, 350, 100. So 125 for Swami Prabhupada and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, 75 for Food and Agriculture Organization, 350 for Guru Gobind Singh, 100 for Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Okay. So quickly we'll revise one word key points, all the current affairs in the form of one word key points. So Nutri Garden was established in All India Institute of Ayurveda, New Delhi by Smriti Jubi Nerani, the Women and Child Development Minister. So Ashok Kumar Tandon, the committee to review journalist welfare scheme, he is the chairman of the committee. So New Development Bank has uh, taken new members, United Arab Emirates, Bangladesh and Uruguay. So Pankaj Kumar Singh is the new DG of uh, BSF and Sunil Arora is the new DG of ITBP. Atul Bhatt is the new CMD of RINL. PPK Ramacharyule is the Rajya Sabha new secretary general. So Gujarat to host the Defence Expo 2022 in March. So, Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha has launched the Saath Initiative for Women, mainly self-help group women. RBI has appointed Vasudevan Committee to uh, give report on the NUE licenses, New Umbrella Entity licenses. So, Alejandro Priyato, so he is the winner of Bird Photographer of the Year 2021. 
पावर क्रेडिट बैग एटीडी बेस्ट अबाउट एज वेल एज एल एंड टी फाइनेंशियल सर्विस बोथ बैग एटीडी बेस्ट अवार्ड ओके सो एल एंड टी फैना फर्स्ट प्रेज पवर ग्रीड एंक फर्स्ट रैंक एल एंड टैंक पवर ग्रीड सो आरबीआई इंपोज ट्वेंटी फाइव ऐक् रूपी फैन आक्सी बैंक सो अवानी लेकर फस्ट इंडियन उमेन टू विन टू मेडल इन पारोलींपिक सो प्रवीण कुमार सिलर इन मेन हई जंप टी सिक्सटी फोर सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट अंड फार्मर राज्यसभा एंपी हू पास रीसेंटली इस चंदन मित्र सो लडाख हाज अनाउंसड स्नो लिपर्ड एज दि स्टेट एनिमल ब्लैक नैक्ड क्रेन एज दि स्टेट बर्ड सो वन ट्वेंटी फाइव रूपी कॉइन वाज अनवील बै पी एम मोडी आन दि ओकेशन आफ वन ट्वेंटी फिफ्त बर्थ एनवर्सरी आफ इस्का फौंडर स्वामी प्रभु पाद ओके सो प्लीज रिमेबर आल दीज वन वर्ड की पॉइंट्स ओके अंड आंसर दि एम सी क्यू सैट सेवन पी एम इन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल सो प्लीज सब्सक्रेब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल लाइक अंड शेयर अवर वीडियो Join the Telegram channel. Download the Career Power Hyderabad app. We provide li, currently co provide coaching for Bank SSC RRB as well as SSC Constable. So we'll provide the links in the description as well as comment section. So thank you, students. We'll meet in the next class.